Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys some of the best apps that you can install on your iPhone in November 2024. Now, these are apps that are pretty useful. A lot of them are really cool to have and probably will help you on daily basis doing a lot more things with your iPhone. And we're starting with a very interesting app called Summary AI. Now, what this does is that it will summarize YouTube videos for you. So you can see this is the interface of the app right here. And all you have here is a place to place your link. So you copy the link, the URL of that video, and just tap the paste button right there. Allow the paste here. And all you have to do is just tap the send button. And in a few seconds here, you will get a summary of that video. You can see how cool this is. Basically, it will let you know everything you need regarding that video in a basically in a summarized way, which is really awesome. Now you will also have here the AI chat. So if you just want to chat with AI, you need any information, you can find it here. And then you will have a section here for the history of all the like different summarizations that you have done. And you can see how good it works. So on this video that I did on how to install themes on your iOS 18 device, it will basically show you here the steps. It's actually really, really awesome. Next up is an app called Search and Wiki. Now, this is an app that you will add to your keyboard. So you simply enable it by going to your settings, go under general keyboards and enable this keyboard. And then when you have this keyboard here, you will basically be able to type anything you want. So basically just type anything you want and then you can just go ahead and search it. If I want to Google it, if I just want to search Wikipedia for it, it will do it. And as you can see right here, it actually does it on the screen here. So it doesn't leave the screen at all. So here I have it. Anything I want to search, I can do that directly from here. So I can search the web, of course, Wikipedia or Google if I want to. And if you want to expand this, you can just tap right there and you will basically have a website on your keyboard, which is really, really awesome and pretty unique. Text Markup is up next. Now, this is a very useful app if you want to share a screenshot that has a text on it and you just have things there that you want to hide. It allows us to do that pretty easily. So if I have right here this tool selected, I can just go ahead and tap on any text I want there and I can hide that part of the text or I can maybe even highlight it if I want to. So if I want to highlight some text, I can just go ahead and tap on the words as easy as that. You can strike and underline as well. And we will have other tools which are basically paid. So you will have the ability to also invert, focus or blur on a screenshot. But these right here just do the job really, really well. So you can see right there, you will have those lines that easily hide anything you want. And you can change its color by tapping that button right there so the default will be the black color but you can of course go ahead and pick any other color you want once you have done that you tap a share button and save it to your camera roll next fly is up next now this is an app that allows us to track flies it's very easy to use and probably everyone will find this app very simple and very easy to use so if you have a flight code airport or a different road you can just go ahead and search it right here or you can just view a random flight if you want to. So you will have here a bunch of different flights. You can tap on follow right there to actually follow the flight that you want. And it will also show you right here on the dynamic island as well. So let's just go ahead and do this. So if we just go ahead and go with this flight, it will be there. And as you can see from anywhere, you can just tap and hold there and you can actually view the flight information. It's pretty awesome, very simple to use. You will have your trip saved here under trips. And then you can also go ahead and explore airports here. If you want to, you can see all the like flights, the arrivals, the the actually the, the departures of everything will be here for any like different airport in the world that you want. Memory Clean is up next. Now, this is an app that allows us to clean the RAM memory of your device. There are a few different ways you can clean the RAM memory of your device, but this app also works and it does the job. Now, all the only thing you have to understand here that, that is that cleaning the RAM memory won't actually make your iPhone faster. It will just clean the RAM memory, which is basically, again, it will all again be filled up in a couple of minutes, but 
for the time if you have an app that is not working right or it's not loading or it's maybe crashing try this app and try to clean the ram memory it will probably do the job the next app for the video is called the reskin now, i recently have done a dedicated video on this app it is pretty awesome it allows us to install custom app icons basically install themes on your iphone so you will have the themes here on the front page and then you will have also widgets which you can again install to your device using this app and then you will have here the sets of icons and you can just go ahead and pick any set of icons that you like here and install them to your device now installing them will be pretty easy you go here you will see the icons tap on install icons it will show you all the icons that every one of these packs has to offer you can choose which ones you want to actually install they're all chosen here by default but you can of course maybe deselect any one that you want and then tap on install tap on fast installation and this will install a profile on your device and once you have this profile installed then it means that you will also have the icons on your home screen so tap allow right there and then simply head on to your general settings under profiles you will be able to install the profile and once you have done that then you will have the icons on your home screen and you can see how cool they look now what you can do here is also go back to your settings when you want to remove them all you have to do is go back to your settings under general vpn and device management find the profile you have just installed just remove the profile and the icons will be removed video merger is the next app for the video now this is a very simple app it is free and is very effective it allows us to edit videos edit the speed of the video and also the sound of the video it is very simple to use everyone can use it simply load the video from here and once you have loaded the video this is the interface that you will see you can change the volume of the video here you can not just mute it but you can change it up or down with the percentages you can of course split or trim the video if you want and then you can also set the playback speed of the video right here so you can speed up and also slow down your videos it's pretty awesome and you can also change the size of the video the aspect ratio from here as you can see very simple yet very effective with some really essential tools for editing videos next up is timers now timers is a simple timer app where you can start different timers or a stopwatch but what i really love about this app it is that it does support the control center toggles for ios 18 and we can go ahead and add the timer from here so you can see here we have timers you can pick a timer or a stopwatch you can choose the timers from here and then what you can do is of course resize this if you want to so you will have the ability to make it smaller or bigger and you can start actually the timer from here and once you do that not like the timers on ios default clock app that basically take you to the app to actually start the timer this one will start it from here and it even shows it right here on the dynamic island from where of course you can pause it or you can also resume the timer and last but not least is calculator pro calculator pro adds a calculator to your home screen via the big widget for the home screen and you will have the full calculator here so of course you can go ahead and calculate anything you want here or you can even go to the scientific calculator simply by tapping that button as easy as that you can go ahead and switch to the scientific calculator how cool is that so anyone that needs quick access to their calculator with this app you can have it right on your home screen so that is it for this video guys these are some of the best apps that you can get in november 2024 on your device if you enjoyed the apps and you want to download any of them make sure to check out the pinned comment you will find all the links there again thank you guys for watching the video and i'll see you on the next one